Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, I was just here setting up my Elite 9 TI2s to wirelessly sync with each other. You found your way back to the Grift Code channel and we're gonna just get into it. <clears throat> so what we're looking at here is just some maps at the moment. At the moment, we have CMAP Genesis on my console MFD and on my bow mount MFD, I have the basic low rants maps. Now, the low rants maps are pretty good because they show you waypoints and markers and stuff, which is pretty handy, but I actually want some detail in my maps like this to wirelessly sync with that unit there because I'm more interested in some fishing than some markers that I can see anyway. How might we do that? It's really easy, especially with these Elite 9 TI2s. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to settings in here to scroll down to wireless and I'm going to do the same thing on my bow mounted MFD go down to wireless now you can see right at the top here connect with another elite TI2 I'm going to click that this unit here has the transducer cable plugged into it I have that because I want to have side scan and down scan on this unit I'll expand on that in a little bit so choose this unit as the base unit okay Easy peasy. Connect with another Elite TI2. Now, I've done this before, obviously, but we're just gonna go through it as if you haven't done this. And to do that, I'm just gonna click no here to reconnecting. So I've already chosen this as the base unit. So I'm gonna go, I've already chosen base unit, make this my remote unit. Alrighty then. Now we see that unit there, which is this unit here. I'm gonna press that, this is connected, and then this is just doing a little bit of work in the background. Alrighty, so let's close them. Now what you can see here is it's loading charts because this is wirelessly sending charts to each other. Do you wish to change chart data selection to view the insert of charts? I'm gonna go no, 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 no. Now the reason why I had to say no so much is because I have heaps of CMAP maps stored in this unit here. And it's just picked up on all of those maps in here really quickly. Now, all of a sudden, you can see we have the exact same maps shown on both units. It's super simple. You can see we've got all of the same maps. That is awesome. Now, the other thing that's really awesome about this wireless unit, or the wireless co compatibility, the wireless communication, is you can wirelessly sync some waypoints with each other. Now, let's say I've got this big deep hole here, and I think that that's a pretty groovy hole with uh, good fish. And I want to, I don't know, go back to that. You know, how waypoints work. So, I'm gonna go in here, call this big, hole yeah all right I've got big hole yeah right here and look at it this I have big hole yeah right there that's pretty cool now what if I am fishing up the front of the uh, the bow of the boat and I catch a fish right near big hole yeah and I want to mark that up I go into my waypoint here I'm gonna go and say that I don't know if caught a snapper and I have a habit of marking what lures I've used when I've caught a fish so I'm gonna go a Halco twisty enter press save now over here if we look closely we also have this mark right here Alco twisty. If I wanted to, I think I can change the color. Uh, save and look at that. It's changed up the top here too. How good is that? So that's pretty awesome. We can share maps and we can share waypoints. But Will, I want to share my sonar. Yeah, you can do that too. But it's kind of hard to show you in the studio here because I'm not connected to the boat or a transducer but I do have some footage from when I first took this out on the water where they did wirelessly sync. I was talking before about base units and why it's important to choose a, the base unit with your transducer. 
There are limitations to what you can send wirelessly. You can send your sonar signal, but you cannot send down scan or side scan. It's a bit of a bummer, but you are getting this fantastic technology at a price point that's pretty unbeatable. I like to sit and motor along and try and find some structure, and I'm moving at about, I don't know, five to six knots. I can't keep, or I can't motor along at that speed with my motor guide, uh, so that's why I wanna have the side scan and down scan on this unit here. And that will wires, wirelessly talk to each other across there. But um, anyway, that's kind of the basics and what you can get out of wirelessly linking your two units. If you enjoyed that, I think you might enjoy the next video. So please consider subscribing because in the next video, we're gonna go into detail on how you get this sort of detail in your maps. Now, this map, is a CMAP Genesis map. And what that is, is a downloadable free map that you can use of your local area. Now, before I was showing you all of this, going through here, I've downloaded all of these pretty cool maps. So we've got Sydney Harbour, George's River Port Hacking, uh, Botany Bay. Now let's zoom out, let's have a look in here and suss it out. I've got some marks in here. Let's see if anyone's marked up what might be around here. Ooh, we got some wrecks. I know that there's uh, some wrecks around here. We check that out in the side scan. And, but look at that sort of detail. That's crazy levels of detail. Anyway, we're gonna do that in the next video. So again, subscribe, because that's a little bit more in depth on how to do that. Um, and we're also gonna change our color mapping here to make it a little bit more visible and readable when you're on the water. Um, for shallow finesse sort of fishing that I do or what you're used to watching me do, um, it's really helpful. Anyway guys, uh, let me know how you go. If you have any trouble, please let me know and I'll try and help you out. Um, but hopefully you shouldn't because it is super, super basic. Um, and basic in the best way possible, which is simple. Anyway, hopefully we see you in the next one. Catches.